Do you have high blood sugar levels? Do you feel tired, thirsty, or hungry all the time? Do you want to learn how to control your condition with natural remedies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to reveal three super seeds that you should eat every day if you have diabetes, and why they can lower your blood sugar and boost your insulin sensitivity. I'm also going to explain what diabetes is, and what the warning signs are to look out for on your skin. Hi everyone! Welcome back to Dr. J. Lim's Holistic Health Corner. I'm Dr. J. Lim, an academic doctor from the University of Cambridge. I'm passionate about natural health and wellness, and I love to share my knowledge with the latest scientific research evidence with you. Now let's get started. Diabetes is a condition that causes your blood sugar level to become too high. Your blood sugar level is the amount of glucose that circulates in your bloodstream. Glucose is a type of sugar that comes from the food you eat and drink, and it's the main source of energy for your cells. Normally, your body produces a hormone called insulin, which helps glucose enter your cells and be used for energy. However, if you have diabetes, your body either doesn't make enough insulin or can't use it properly. This means that glucose stays in your blood and can't reach your cells, causing various problems. Insulin resistance is a condition where your cells become less responsive to insulin meaning that they don't take up glucose as efficiently as they should. Insulin resistance can lead to high blood sugar levels and high insulin levels, which can damage your organs and tissues. Insulin resistance is often a precursor to type 2 diabetes, but it can also occur in people with type 1 diabetes. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is a lifelong condition where your immune system attacks and destroys the cells that produce insulin. This means that you need to take insulin injections or use an insulin pump to control your blood sugar level. Type 1 diabetes usually develops in childhood or young adulthood, but it can occur at any age. Type 2 diabetes is more common than type 1, and it usually develops later in life. In type 2 diabetes, your body either doesn't produce enough insulin or becomes resistant to it, meaning that it doesn't work as well as it should. Type 2 diabetes can often be managed with lifestyle changes, such as eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and losing weight if you are overweight or obese. However, some people may also need medication or insulin to control their blood sugar level. Diabetes can affect many parts of your body, including your skin. When diabetes affects your skin, it's often a sign that your blood sugar level is too high or that you have complications from diabetes. Some of the skin problems that can occur in people with diabetes are 1. Yellow, reddish, or brown patches on your skin. These patches are called necrobiosis lipoidica, and they usually appear on the shins. They are caused by changes in the blood vessels under the skin due to high blood sugar levels. They may be itchy or painful, and they can lead to ulcers or infections if not treated. 2. Darker area of skin that feels like velvet. This condition is called acanthosis nigricans, and it usually affects the back of the neck, armpits, groin, or other folds of the skin. It is caused by high levels of insulin in the blood, which stimulate the growth of skin cells and pigment. It may be a sign of prediabetes or insulin resistance. 3. Hard, thickening skin. This condition is called digital sclerosis, and it affects the fingers, toes, or other areas with joints. It is caused by high blood sugar levels that damage the connective tissue under the skin. It makes the skin tight, waxy, and difficult to move. It can also cause pain and stiffness in the joints. 4. Blisters on the skin. These blisters are called diabetic blisters or bullosis diabeticorum, and they usually appear on the hands, feet, legs, or arms. They are caused by high blood sugar levels that damage the nerves and blood vessels in the skin. They may be large and painless, or small and painful. They usually heal on their own without leaving scars. 5. Skin infections. People with diabetes are more prone to developing bacterial or fungal infections on their skin due to high blood sugar levels that weaken their immune system and impair their wound healing. Some common infections are Staphylococcus, Staph, Candida, Yeast, Ringworm, Tinea, and Athlete's Foot, Tinea pedis. These infections can cause redness, swelling, pain, itching, or blisters on the affected areas. If you notice any of these skin problems, you should consult your doctor as soon as possible and follow their advice on how to treat them. You should also keep your skin clean and moisturized, avoid scratching or picking at your skin, and protect your skin from sun exposure and injury. Now that you know what diabetes is and the warning signs that appear on your skin, 
Let me tell you about three super seeds that can help you control your blood sugar levels and boost insulin sensitivity. Let's start with flax seeds. Flax seeds are tiny brown or golden seeds that have a nutty flavor and a crunchy texture. They are rich in dietary fiber, lignans, and alpha-linolenic acid, which are all good for your blood sugar and insulin levels. But don't take my word for it. There is scientific evidence to back up the claims. A recent study by Morera et al. showed that eating 15 grams of ground raw flax seeds before breakfast reduced the postprandial glycemic response in men with type 2 diabetes. That means that their blood sugar levels did not spike as much after eating as they did without flax seeds. The study also found that flax seeds lowered the peak glucose rise, the peak glucose time, and the area under the curve of glucose for two hours after breakfast. These are all important indicators of how well your body handles glucose and insulin. So how do flax seeds work? Well, the researchers suggested that the high fiber content of flax seeds slows down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, which prevents sudden spikes in blood sugar. The lignans, which are phytoestrogens, may also modulate insulin secretion and sensitivity by interacting with estrogen receptors. And the alpha-linolenic acid, which is an omega-3 fatty acid, may improve insulin sensitivity by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. So what does this mean for you? It means that adding flax seeds to your diet may help you control your blood sugar and insulin levels better, especially if you have type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. Flax seeds may also lower your risk of developing diabetes complications, such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. But how do you eat flax seeds? Well, the best way is to grind them before eating, because whole flax seeds may pass through your digestive system undigested. You can use a coffee grinder or a blender to grind them into a fine powder. Then you can sprinkle them on your cereal, yogurt, salad, smoothie, or any other food you like. You can also bake them into breads, muffins, cookies, or cakes. Just make sure you store them in an airtight container in the fridge or freezer to prevent them from going rancid. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you find this type of educational content useful, it would really help the channel if you press the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos like this one. You'll also be supporting me and helping me grow this channel, which means a lot to me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. Next, let's talk about chia seeds. Chia seeds are tiny black or white seeds that have a mild flavor and a gel-like texture when soaked in water. They are rich in dietary fiber, polyphenols, antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acid, vitamins, minerals, and peptides, which have various biological activities and therapeutic effects. A recent study by Khaled et al. reviewed the nutritional composition, functional components, and health benefits of chia seeds, especially for metabolic disorders such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and inflammation. The study reported that chia seeds have hypoglycemic and hypolipidemic properties, which can improve glucose and lipid metabolism and prevent or treat diabetes and its complications. The study explained that the high fiber content of chia seeds can slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, reduce the postprandial glycemic response, and increase the satiety and fullness sensations. The study also mentioned that the alpha-linolenic acid in chia seeds can enhance insulin sensitivity, lower blood pressure, modulate inflammatory responses, and protect against oxidative stress and endothelial dysfunction. The study cited several clinical trials that showed the beneficial effects of chia seed consumption on glycemic control, lipid profile, blood pressure, body weight, and inflammation markers in patients with type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome. The study concluded that chia seeds are a potential functional food for the prevention and management of metabolic disorders, especially diabetes. But how do you eat chia seeds? Well, the easiest way is to soak them in water or any liquid of your choice for at least 10 minutes before eating. This will make them swell up and form a gel-like substance that is easy to digest. You can then add them to your smoothies, juices, oatmeal, yogurt, pudding, or any other food you like. You can also sprinkle them on your salads, soups, sandwiches, or baked goods. Just make sure you drink enough water when you eat chia seeds to prevent dehydration. Finally, let's talk about sunflower seeds. 
Sunflower seeds are edible seeds that come from the sunflower plant. They are rich in protein, fiber, healthy fats, minerals, and antioxidants that can benefit your health. Sunflower seeds contain chlorogenic acid, a phenolic compound that has anti-diabetic properties. Chlorogenic acid inhibits the activity of alpha-glucosidase, an enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, thus reducing postprandial blood glucose spikes. This can help you prevent or manage diabetes by keeping your blood sugar levels stable and avoiding hyperglycemia. Sunflower seeds also have anti-inflammatory and antioxidative effects that can protect the pancreatic beta cells from damage and enhance insulin secretion. Insulin is the hormone that regulates your blood sugar levels and allows your cells to use glucose for energy. By improving your insulin function, sunflower seeds can help you boost your insulin sensitivity and lower your risk of diabetes complications. Sunflower seeds can be consumed raw, roasted, or sprouted, or added to salads, soups, breads, or desserts. They can also be pressed to produce sunflower oil, which can be used for cooking or dressing. A recommended serving size is about one or two tablespoons per day. Sunflower seeds have been tested on various experimental animals, such as mice and rats, and showed positive effects on blood glucose levels, insulin sensitivity, and lipid profile as shown by Raymond et al. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my previous video here, where I reveal 10 superfoods that can heal your fatty liver.